Love. Love is an emotion that invokes such feeling in people. For some, it brings bliss and happiness. Others, pain and sorrow. And others, it just stirs the memories of when they lost everything in divorce. As for me and the team, well, it brings terror. The terror that can only be known when you're about to be crushed by a 50-foot woman. And so, spare a thought for us whenever you hear that four-letter word. Love. So, why do they look so crappy? Well, Glide. Here's from an 8-bit virtual world, a time in history when games were... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard 8-bit go on about it a million times before. A time when gameplay was more important than fancy graphics and fancy sound. The golden era of video games. That is what he says. Hey, I, I wonder if I put these on we can hear what he's saying. I miss you heaps, you know. And I promise I'll come home once we're finished at this planet. <laughs> she should tell him that his princess is in another castle. Glide, get that headpiece off and leave us alone. I, I think he can hear us. Look, babe, oh, I gotta go. But I promise I'll be home soon, okay? What the hell are you doing? Oh, Alright, I'm sorry, a bit. I, I didn't even think about it. Out! Okay. Ah, uh, love. You know, Glide, I do often wonder if love will ever come my way. Ah, oh, Cap, of course it will! You know, I truly do believe that there's somebody for everyone out there, and, and even though right now it may feel like you can't find love, I'm sure that one day, love will find you. Where is Captain Mysterious and the League of Awesome? Uh, hi there. Did you just see that thing crash down there? She said, where is Captain Mysterious and the League of Awesome? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Patience. First, we find and destroy the League of Awesome. Then, we attack the males. Why can't we just kill all the men now? League of Awesome won't be able to stop us. We kill the League of Awesome. Then we attack the males. Well, what about that one? May I? Of course. Welcome to the League of Awesome Helpline. How may I help you? Hello. Is this Captain Mysterious? Yes. I am a hot woman, and I have two hot friends. We would like to go out on a date with you and the League of Awesome that will most likely end in hot, saucy, sweaty intercourse. Whoa! Love found him faster than I thought! Um, uh, um, we would come and pick you up, but we don't have a car yet. It's okay. We got your address from the phone book. We will be there shortly. Did you hear that glide? I did! And there's three of them! Hey! Hey, Apert! There's one for you as well! Yes, I know already. But as you know, I already have a girlfriend. 
So what? Just, just invite her to come along and, 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 uh, oh. Uh, oh crap, this is way too easy. Uh, they must be ugly. Should I answer it? Uh, uh no, I mean, I mean, yes, no, wait, I don't even know what I mean anymore. Come in. Oh, she's hot. Is this the League of Awesome? Uh, hey, are the other two chicks as hot as you? We are hot, and we want to go on a date with your team. Uh, Apit's already got a girlfriend, though. Hmm. This proves to be a problem. Where is this 8-bit you speak of? Ah, uh, he's probably around here soaking somewhere. What the hell is going on? Where are the men? Wait on. First, we need to lure them in. Then we crush them. Clyde, I hate to say this because they are indeed hot, but I think they're trying to kill us. Ah, oh, Cap, don't jump to conclusions. Maybe they just meant it in a sexual way. But how could saying they're going to kill us be sexual? Uh, do you girls like ice cream? Because Clyde is a moron, and I am desperate. We decided we would go out on a date with the women, despite the fact that they may kill us. That's when things became a little bit messed up. Wow, what a wonderful time. And to think, Clyde here thought you'd both be ugly. <laughs> yeah. You got me there! Would you be interested in us coming in for a... coffee? Did you hear that, Glide? They want to come in for coffee. What do you take me for, Captain Mysterious? We need to make them work for it. Um, excuse me, ladies. Uh, would we be able to take a rain check? You see, uh... Um, we have our periods! What the hell is a period, Clyde? I don't know. The girls always say they have it when they don't want to do something. Uh, yes. You see, ladies, we both have our periods. And therefore, we will not be able to have coffee with you tonight. We shall come by tomorrow. Be ready for us. Well, Glide, I do believe that went marvelously well. <laughs> I guess it did. Look, just be careful, okay? He might be a moron, but Glide is right about one thing. Girls usually aren't that easy, especially girls that good looking. I'm just concerned they might have ulterior motives and they're pulling you into a trap. Look, hey, bitch. You have a girlfriend, and Clyde always has some girls hanging around. Well, now it's my turn! Look, you already did have your chance. You were with that girl, Elise, that we saved from Obvious Insurance a couple of weeks ago. And then you dumped her, because you thought she was going to dump you first. You don't know me!
the hell are you? Hello. Hello. I am friends with two human females that you you met met yesterday. yesterday. I I was was meant meant to meet them them here. Tell me, where Where are are they? they? So you're the third girl they were talking about. Well, no, they went down to the park for a picnic with Captain Mysterious and Glide. You You must come with me to the picnic picnic as my date. date. Sorry, got a girlfriend. I see. Also, I have to ask, why the sudden interest in us? You've never even met us before. Your heroic tales are renowned across this universe. We came to seek you. What did you just say? I meant renowned across this planet. No, you didn't. You said across the universe. Who are you girls? And where did the others take Captain Mysterious and Glide for that picnic? Don't worry, it's only a small dose. I won't kill you. Yet. Hmm. You seem to have awoken. Hmm. No matter. I'm sure it would be more entertaining watching you squirm underneath my foot as I crush the life out of you. I can't believe I'm saying this. I really wish Mysterious was here. Or even Glide. Your friends are already probably dead, my little friend. You see, they're not really going to the final destination picnic, but rather their own final destination. I figured as much. Which leaves us with the last member of the League of Awesome. Goodbye, 8-Bit. Oh my god! Gorge at Mountain's Peak. Mm. Then we have very little time. Can you move? I think so. We shall take my car. Come on, Zin, Sam! a picnic anyway? Uh, there isn't one. So, like, what is this? Release us! That would not be in our best interest. You see, Captain Mysterious, you are in our way. In the way of what? Can we transform now? Yes. Goodbye, League of Awesome. Mysterious wave! Nobody ties Clyde down unless he says so! Are you ready, Cap? Uh, yes. What's wrong? Well, they're... they're women. Ah, so what? They're trying to kill us! But the Elder's Rules, Clyde. One must never... Yeah, well, you know what I think of the Elder's Rules, Cap? Yes! <gasps> To go, Clyde. Uh, uh, well, I. Oh, oh hey, uh, are you okay? I. Uh, okay, screw the elders. Time to destroy you once and for all, League of Awesome! 
Um, uh, 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 Cap? Um, how come that girl's getting bigger? I, I just don't know, Glide. Captain Mysterious, Glide! Get in the car now! I'm listening to Ape Ditto. And that is how the ecosystem of their planet works. You're telling me that they're basically spiders? The women that you encounter today have evolved over millions of years in much the same way that humans have. Only in this case, they have evolved from spiders. How do you know all of this? Because I too am part of the spider race. Why are you here then? On my planet. The men are nothing more than a form of sustenance for the female. They no longer need the males to reproduce. You... you mean... That's right. We don't even get to have sex anymore. On my planet, males are the same size as the females. Until the females decide to kill. And then, they grow. Up to 50 feet tall in some cases. Then... They crush us! And you let them? We have no choice. It is hardwired into our brains to let them. Being a man of science, I was smart enough to resist my primal urges. And along with my colleagues, we formed the resistance. We built a giant mechanicaloid robot to battle the giant women. I fled my planet and came here in the giant mechanicaloid robot and had it buried deep within the Earth's crust, in case the evil women ever came here and tried to take over this planet. Did you just say, like, giant robot? Yeah, the Mechanicaloid. Oh, do we get to ride in it? The Mechanicaloid has never been tested in battle, but it may be our only hope. Can't you help us pilot it then? I will stay here and recharge my spider repellent pack. When you have vacancy creatures, it would be safer for me to get closer and finally destroy them once and for all. Yep, here. Take this power card. Then when you get to the city, use it to activate the mighty Powertron. Well, let's go. If we don't hurry, the town is dead. Good luck, League of Awesome. We were equipped and ready to go. Despite having no idea how to use these new powers, we decided to trust the scientist, simply because he wasn't a woman. Okay. Power card. But how do we summon the Powertron? So we're supposed to control that thing. But how the hell do we even get inside it? Whoa! Hey, that's how! Okay, team. It's time to hold together. We are this city's last hope. But together, we will probably die. Great encouragement, Cap. Really motivated now. Let's go, League of Awesome. Stats check. Glide. Damn, glide. Power below 80%. Captain, what do we do? Uh, I'm trying to kick her a bit, but it just won't work. No, glide. You're operating the arms. Punch her. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That works.
It's the scientist! My Lipshin! Over here! You remember me? Yeah! yeah. That's right, it's me! My Lipshin! You! My Lipshin? Oh no! She's got him in her trance! You brave foolish man! No! Don't step on him! She's doing it! She's going to step on him! Do it! Come on! Yeah! Come on, Sid! Do it! Turn out! She's destroyed. We did it, guys. We saved the day. No, guys. We didn't really save the day. The scientist did. And we saved the scientist as well! Glide, he's dead. We didn't save the scientist. We'd saved the city. And we'd saved all the human men. And best of all, I learned that I did not need a woman to complete myself, for I was complete all along. Until next time, I'm Captain Mysterious and you've been watching The League of Awesome.